Hi everybody, this is MJ from Created Minds, and today I'm going to be doing a different type of tutorial. I'm going to be making bath bombs today, and to show you some of the ingredients that you're going to need to do this. First of all, you're going to need the, the, the main ingredients to a bath bomb, which makes it fizz, is ba baking soda and, and citric acid. So the ratio for that in a bath bomb is always two to one. And you want your other dry ingredients to be at a one ratio So to the uh, baking soda. So in here I've got baking soda and I have the citric acid in here. And I've got cornstarch and we have our, in the bowls there, We've got some SLSA, which gives us some bubbling action instead of just foaming action. Then over here we have our oil. It's the uh, fractionated coconut oil, um, essential oil. And we are using the scents today, coconut, ah, wapuhi sea berry, mango, and pineapple. And those have already been measured out in this right here. We also have some polysorbate 80, that's this here, which will emulsify everything and not leave color on your skin or in your tub and let it just go right down the drain. You're going to need molds to make bath bombs and colorant. And I do have some soap dye colorant and I also have some food colorant, uh, food grade colorant um, and I prefer the soap dye colorant kit that I received. I, I'm not really wild about it, so I, <laughs> I usually end up using the food colorant. But if you're going to go into manufacturing bath bombs and selling them, you have to use something that's FD&C approved. In other words, it's food, drug, and cosmetic approved. So you can't use food coloring. Uh, but these are not going to be sold. So, but they're wonderful. So stay tuned, and we will get started on making those. Okay. And one thing I forgot to mention: you're also going to need a liquid, such as some people use witch hazel, some people use alcohol, like a 91 to a 99 percent alcohol, and some people will use water. I happen to use alcohol, so you're going to need that, and like a spray bottle is the easiest way. And what we're going to do is we're going to get started with mixing the ingredients together. First of all, I like to use a sieve. I don't like clumps, and you know a lot of these ingredients will clump. And what I'm going to do is run by as we go through the ingredients how much I'm adding, but I'm also going to put down below the basic recipe and you can just cut it in half or do whatever you want to do to make it to your the amount that you want to make. So we're I'm making quite a few of these tropical bath bombs and they are wonderful and I can already smell the essential oils that are over there just sitting. So okay this is basically in this container right here we have four cups of baking soda we have two cups of citric acid and then I have two cups or 16 ounces of cornstarch. And that just is the whole box. So now as far as the SLSA is concerned, and I'll have these measurements down below, the SLSA is optional and that's, I like to put it in because it'll add bubbles, uh, kind of like a foam to your, to your bath. And so I like to add it. And so we're gonna start with the dry ingredients. So I'm going to add the baking soda, citric acid, and Epsom salt. And I'm going to go ahead and put this through the sieve. Oh, one thing I like to do, because the SLSA is airborne, and they, they do recommend to wear a mask. So if you are using it, you will want to wear a mask to, to use it. But I like to just put this in and kind of sift, let it sift in together. So I will just pour it in together kind of slowly so it doesn't poof up in the air. I know, I'm sorry, my arm was blocking there. There you can see. And you see all those clumps going in there? This is why I like this sieve, because, because see all these clumps? So what I do 
chewing on it like that. Okay. So I just sift it and I just do like this. And all of them, all of the ingredients will go down inside. It does make a bit of a cloud. You can also do it with your hands. It's a little less cloudy that way. But it takes longer. I have a few baking soda clumps in there, so I'll rub those around. And then when I'm left with just the Epsom salt, then I will just go ahead and just drop those in. Okay, so there's one other ingredient, the cornstarch. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the cornstarch in the sieve. And cornstarch isn't usually too clumpy. It's also optional. Some people don't use anything, and when you make the fizzies or the end beds, you don't use the cornstarch. But, you know, it's a filler. It's also very good for your skin, so I like to use the cornstarch. You can also use, in place of the cornstarch, you can use various types of clays, and the measurements would be different, of course. But like a kaolin clay, for example, which is a rose clay, is excellent for your skin. Some people use that. And, again, some people don't use anything at all. It's going to make your bath bomb harder and it is also going to, like I said, be good for your skin and it's just all around, I, I like to add it. Now some people will add cream of tartare as well. Sometimes I do add that. We're playing a musical dance around in the kitchen here. I have a fairly large kitchen, but it's like when you're in one area, it's like, woo, I, I need an island. If any one of you would like to donate an island, <laughs> I could use one. Okay, so I'm just mixing this up because I thought it was all mixed, but I'm going to mix it together and just make sure that all these dry ingredients are good and mixed. Okay, so there we are. Try not to get all the powder in the air. Okay, that looks good. So, liquid ingredients. So we have our coconut oil, our fractionated coconut oil. This is polysorbate 80, and polysorbate 80 is not a must. It is optional, but this will emulsify all of your ingredients, your oil ingredients, your coloring, your oils, essential oils, fragrances, and it will also keep your colorants from getting on the sides of your tub, sticking to your body, if you're using glitters or anything like that. This will make everything combine together. It doesn't, you know, your oil isn't going to separate so much from the water and be floating on the top of the water. It, but it does still absorb in your skin, which is really, really nice. And everything goes down the drain all nice and pretty, and you're not left with a mess. So I'm going to add this to this oil right here. So that I can pour everything all at once. Now, none of this is water, so it should not set off our mix. And then anything that has water in it is going to, and even the, al the alcohol spray, to a little bit it'll set it off. But I did see a video just recently, and I wish I could think of the lady's name because I can't think of it right now, but she was saying that she likes to activate her mix just a little bit with the spritzer because it helps the, the total, after she mixes it all together, it helps the bath bombs bond better. So I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I haven't tried it. So we're basically leaving the colors out. The only thing I have to add here is the fragrance. So I'm gonna add the fragrance oils to this mixture right here. And I'm gonna make sure I get everything out of that. And I don't, I, it smells wonderful. So what I'm gonna do is then, I'm going to mix together everything and I'm gonna try to turn this way a little bit so I don't, okay, get my arm in the mix. So basically when you pour this in, 
you want to mix it in, you know, small amounts so that it gets all mixed well and so that you're not activating anything. There's no water in this, so you really shouldn't have a problem with things activating. So I'm not going to worry about getting the liquids moist up to the right consistency until I get them into their respective bowls. And once the colorants have been added, then I will go back and adjust anything at that time and add the alcohol and all that stuff. So right now I just want to get what's necessary mixed together, what's necessary for all three bowls. And they say if you have, you want to wear gloves because, you know, some things might irritate you, the citric acid. If you have nail polish on, as you see, mine's like worn off, you're going to want to wear gloves. But it doesn't irritate me. I like to get my hands in there and I think I mix it faster without any gloves on. And it makes my hands really, really soft. So I like doing it by hand. So I'm just going to mix this up really well. Whoopsie. We don't want to topple that over onto the floor. That would be such a mess and such a waste of all these ingredients. Oh my gosh. So I find that like sifting with my fingers helps to get everything, like keep it from clumping and get everything mixed together. Especially when you're working with the colorants. Oh man, does that help. And it really gets the colors going. So this smells wonderful. This, this is a lot of mix. This is gonna make a lot of bath bombs. You probably might wanna make, you know, a quarter of this amount or something like that. Okay, and what I do when I get this mixed is I just go ahead and pull it right up to my face and take a whiff. <laughs> And it smells absolutely wonderful. Down below, I will write it as, as I've done it here. And that is wonderful. Okay, so I have everything mixed in here and we have a really good mix so far. As I test it here and squeeze nice and hard, I have, it's like, and you tap it, it's not coming apart. Dropping it in the bowl, it's not really breaking either. But it will break if I put a little bit more pressure on it. So we're not gonna need much alcohol, but we should put some just so that, you know, we have good proper binding of everything. So, but what I'm gonna try to do is separate this into three bowls as equally as I can. So I have the bowls ready and this is good. My friend will be very helpful. Yes. <laughs> I'm knocking all the I'm knocking all the molds over. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and just try to do this into three. So I'm gonna kind of divide it this way. And actually no, go right here. And then right here. Okay. Third of the mixture out. Hey, whoops. Yeah. I like what Desert Soap Soap Works. The lady from Desert Soap Works says. Yeah, if you're not making a mess, you're not doing it right. So you can smell that over there. Yeah. That's cool. That's what we want. Do you smell? You like the smell of it? Yeah. Okay. So, okay, I think we're fairly even. What we're gonna do is divide up the color and the colors can also put liquid in. I'm not even gonna go with these soap colors. I'm gonna just go with this wonderful mix that I had, it's called Color Right. It is a color performance system and it's really cool because it tells you how many drops to put to get certain colors. And you can make any color you want. So we're gonna go with an orange, a yellow, and a green. Okay, we're just going to mix these colors, but with these type of colors, you start out with the spoon first because the spoon is going to get rid of 
disperse it a little bit so you don't get it on your hands. Like I said, I don't like mixing with gloves. So once I get it all dotted like this, then I'm gonna pretty much get my hands in there and you'll see the color get really bright once I get the hands in there and do this motion that I call sifting it. And I'll show you. So I'm just gonna get this one started over here. And okay, what I do when I'm mixing it with my hands is I just kind of grab a hold of it and I go back and forth like this. I kind of push it together and go back and forth and you will see the color will just triple when you do it like that. And I just go back and forth like that. And sort of like I'm rubbing the everything together. And it will, and it softens your hands the whole time too, which is nice. Okay, so now we have all the colors mixed. We've got a nice yellow here, a nice orange here, and then we have a beautiful green right here. And we're gonna be combining those. So I will put them in the order that they go, and I'm going to try to adjust this so you can see a little bit more of what we're doing here. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna need to get these to the right consistency. So I'm gonna we're, we're finding that it's almost right where we need it to be. If you clench your fist, it, does, it forms a clump here. And if I tap it with my thumb lightly, it's not breaking. Drop it in there, it's, it's barely breaking. Just a little bit. I'll show you again. So, if I make a fist, move this over here. Okay, make a fist and then open, it's pretty firm right here. And then I drop it in here and it's still, well, it's breaking that time. Um, but anyway, we're not gonna need very much of the alcohol. So what I'm gonna do is put about eight sprays. Wait, that wasn't a spray. One. I have like a half a spray in there, so there. So if you want a whisk, and we're just going to mix in this so it doesn't activate anything, and see where we're at. And that's that'll go away. That'll go away. <laughs> the alcohol smell does go away. Just so you guys know, it goes away. Okay, so now we're going to test it again. And what you want, uh, as everybody has told you, I'm sure, is the consistency of a damp sand. This, to me, it feels like it's coming together here, but it does not feel like damp sand to me. It feels like more of like a flower or something. It feels, I, I think we need a little bit more alcohol. It feels very, I think the oils are holding it together, but... I'm going to put a little more. Okay. Now, you guys, I do put a little bit, maybe I like my oil, my mixture a little wet. But that's the way I do it. And they come out just fine. So, 
again, I did about 10 more, eight more sprays, something like that. And then we'll feel that. And make sure you scrape around the sides so you get all that alcohol and color up the sides. And then we'll fill it again. And see, it's not very cool feeling, so I don't know how humid it is today or whatever. It's not very cool feeling. It kind of feels like a warm lump in your hand. So I just want to make sure that we're at the right consistency for it to form. So now this is like, it seems like it's breaking apart a little bit easier. I don't know. Go this way so you guys can see. See how it is forming, but then it... It forms and it's pretty tough, but I think it still needs a little bit more. I don't know. What do you think? Drop it in your bowl. Did it break? At all? Yeah. See how well, it breaks? You go to pick See how it, up. it breaks? Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. If you go with the lightest pressure and it puts into powder, then you're not wet enough yet. So you want, I'm going to put a little bit more. See, this is not spraying right now. There we go. Okay. We're going to do it one more time. I think this will be good. But, you know, you want them to hold, and that alcohol evaporates. So, that's the main thing. And then... Okay, so we're good. I'm gonna feel this, and you tell me what you think. But let me see this green one. See the green one? It's, it looks kind of broken up to me. I don't know. I think it's okay. It's firm. It's firm. But this one? Yeah. This is this is good. This is good. I feel a difference. Um, I feel a difference in this one. You're gonna smell a lot of alcohol. Yeah, it, I was so worried about that. The first time I did this with alcohol, guys, I thought, oh, my gosh, I ruined my bombs. But the alcohol goes completely away, and you will smell the wonderful smell that they have once again. So this is good. This is really, really good. It's a dry powder, but it, it's, it's not breaking when I tap on it, okay, unless I tap harder. So this is how you make these. With, for, without further ado, these are the size we're going to be making today. So, yeah. I'll make one, and then I'm going to move out of the way and allow them to make one. So you guys uh, watch me this first time. Um, so I'm going to take the first set right here. Where did that glitter in the... I am just putting a very little amount of a very fine glitter in these in the... Where's the camera? Okay, inside here. So just a little bit, because this is a very fine glitter and you don't need much in there. Okay, so I'm just dusting inside there and then I'm gonna take some sprinkles and I'm just gonna sprinkle just a couple of sprinkles, a few sprinkles in the bottom. And then I'm gonna go over here to the yellow. And guys, I don't know if you can see this. I'll, I'll, I'll switch this over for a second so that you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to go to the yellow here, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to lightly put the yellow in here. Are you guys paying attention? All right. Okay, so we're just going to lightly put the yellow in here. I don't want to fill this all the way. What am I doing? Okay, so once we get almost to the top, like about halfway full with the yellow, like that, then we're going to add some green, and I'll do this over the green, and I know you can still see me here. So I'm, I'm going to add the green, and I'm just going to pat that down lightly, okay? Just lightly, and I'm going to set it in the bowl. The other half right here, I'm going to scoop, light, I'm going to lighten up this, this orange over here. I'm going to make sure it's nice and fluffy, and I'm just going to lightly scoop it like that, Okay, and now it's kind of overfilling, it's overfilled, and I'm going to move this over and bring this forward so you can see, hopefully you can see. Okay, now it's kind of overfilled, see that? And all I'm going to do is put the two bottoms together, 
bolts, okay? And then we're going to close it shut, okay? And it's gonna allow a lot to fall. So I'm gonna go inside here. Let me bring the camera up a little bit so you can see. Okay, hopefully you'll be able to see this now. Okay, so I'm gonna lightly put these together and just press, 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 and allow the, the, the mix to kind of fall down. And that's okay if you get a little bit of green in the orange, it's not a big deal. And I'm just gonna squeeze these together really well. And go ahead and make sure that you clean off the sides. And then the next magic thing to do before you are gonna unmold it is once you got it together, you're going to turn it this way and you're going to tap it on the, on the surface. Turn it around, tap it again, tap it again, tap it again, lightly, okay? And what that does is it loosens the bomb away from the side so that you're able to do that. So that is our bath bomb right there. And I'm just going to let it sit inside the bottom half right now for, for a little while. So I'm just gonna set this over here. I'm gonna let it dry on that side. And in about 20 minutes or so, I will take the cap and I will put it on top and flip it over and then take the other cap off and I will set, that, set it on that side to dry. And about 20 minutes after that, I can take the molds off altogether and allow them to dry the rest of the way. And alcohol dries really fast. So that's how we do it, guys. I'll do one more for you so that you'll be able to see. So again, we're going to put a little bit of glitter, just tap, tap, tap of glitter, a little bit of the sprinkles, okay, like so. And then we're going to put some yellow about halfway and some green the rest of the way and you're gonna kind of overfill the green just a little bit and then you're gonna press it down not real hard and then you're just going to grab the other mold and remember to loosen up this orange scoop it up with your whole hand like that get a whole bunch on there and go ahead and put your two halves together at the bottom and press, press, press until you get them together. Once you get them together, you wipe them off. And then we'll do the tapping. And you kind of squeeze it together when you're doing the tapping, you know, so you don't let go of it. And... <laughs> There you have it, right there. Isn't that pretty? So we're gonna go ahead and let that sit. I'm gonna turn it this way, like I said, and I'm going to let it dry in 20 minutes on this side like that. But right now, I'm gonna let the tops dry, okay? So I'm just going to set this over here. And that's that. So I'm gonna let them try to make some bath bombs and I will be back when we're just about finished. Okay guys, so this right here is how they turned out and it was really nice because I had my daughter help and Lee did really good, my friend, she did really good with making them. It really was an easy thing to, to make. So these turned out wonderful. I wish you could smell them. They smell absolutely wonderful. So if this video has helped you at all and if you've benefited from it please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more we do all kinds of things we do a lot of polymer clay and uh, jewelry making and things like that but this was kind of different today but I hope you enjoyed it and we will see you again real soon bye bye